I can do it, you can do it, we can do it too. Guess what? I'm going to the Olympics. Yeah, my school is having Olympic Day. And everybody in the world. School gets to compete. Even my second grade class. I can wait. My class voted on the name for our team. And the class voted on the stallions because we are strong. We work hard and we never give up. Just like the Royal Olympics, there will be a lot of challenge. There will be running races, jumping over hurdles, obstacles, courses, throw competitions, and throwing competitions, and even archery. How cool is that? I can wait for archery. I get to shoot a suction cup, a row at a target. It sounds tricky, but if I try hard, I know I can do it maybe. My class was so excited and everybody wanted to do their best at the Olympics. Mm -hmm. The Olympics. So every afternoon, my teacher, Miss Smith, would take the stallions out to the field behind our school. To practice, we practice everything, running, jumping, throwing, frisbees, and sh sh shooting, a rouse at a target. We even practiced our team cheer. I can do it, you can do it, we can do it too. Go, Stallion! Every day before we went out to the field to practice, Miss Smith would have the Stallions and stand together in a circle. Miss Smith would say, If you believe in yourself, practice hard and never give up. Then you can do anything. Miss Smith caught this persistence. How, how hard could that be a throw? Well, guess what? Be, behind be persistent and not giving up was really hard. I didn't want to let my class down. And I wanted to win the Olympics, but it seemed like no matter how hard I tried, I just could try, couldn't get it. In fact, after a while, while is it just seemed impossible. I didn't know what to do. I could run and could jump, and I could even dodge my way through obstacles. But no matter what, I still couldn't throw a frisbee or shoot an arrow. I just couldn't to do it. It's instead of flying through the air like frisbees and arrows are supposed to. To do, they would just drop out of the air and land at my feet. Ugh, I give up. Okay, well, I wanted to give up. But every time I hear our class cheer, I can do it, you can do it, we can do it too. I wanted keep, to keep trying, so that's what I did. I picked up the frisbee and the arrows and kept on trying. But, but just like before, I couldn't make the frisbee do what it was supposed 
to do and the arrow just dropped to the ground. <laughs> I wanted to give up. But Miss Smith wouldn't let me. As soon as she saw me huffing and puffing and stomping my feet, she came over to me immediate, immediately and told me, You can do it. I wanted to believe. She can. Okay. I, I wanted to believe. Her, but I didn't know how. Take a deep breath. Miss Smith said, The stallions need you. That day during practice, Miss Smith showed me step by step what to do. I listened really hard. Not really hard, and then practiced each step. Someone, somehow, it somehow, somehow, it seemed easier. I can do it. You can do it. We can do it too. I whom? One more day until the Olympics. I was excited, and scared, and worried. Even though I had been practicing. And I was getting a little better at throwing a frisbee and shooting an arrow. There were still times when I wanted to give up. That's when Miss Smith would tell me, you can do it. was Olympic Day. Finally. Finally, it was Olympic Day. And like the real Olympics, it started all the real, real real Olympics. It started with a parade. Each class walked onto the field wearing their team's jerseys. There were so many times. The honey badgers, the lightning boats, and so many more. And of course, there were the stallions. Just like the Royal Olympics, our principal, Mr. Lloyd, talked to the competitors about being persistent and not giving up. When you try hard and keep trying, you will always be a winner, said Mr. Lloyd. The school cheered and, mm -hmm. and cheered and Mr. Lloyd would. Let's mm -hmm. yield, let's have fun. I can do it, you can do it, we can do it too. Go, stallions! We cheered. Cheered. I was excited and scared at the same time. And guess what? The frisbee toss was the first competition. What if I couldn't, I couldn't throw the frisbee? I got so nervous. That a, a, I just wanted to run away, but Miss Smith came over and reminded, reminded reminded me to take a deep breath and do what I did in practice, and that's what I did. I took my I took my time and tried my best. I didn't give up. I didn't run away. I was persistent. Everybody was a winner. That day, we all worked hard and had fun. Just like our cheer, we did it. We were persistent. Go stallions!
finish goodbye